M zero FXB. Just looking again at this Radio Society of Great Britain section on the EM field. Ofcom have published their final decision to changes to the Wireless Telegraphy Act. So it's part of our license now. Uh, the general public limits on EMF exposure compliance is required from the 18th of November 2021. So we do have to look at this. And so to help us, they've created a calculator. So this is mainly, this is about safety, about uh, radiating, really radiation, um, harmful radiation to people and making sure we're within the rules that they have defined. So let's have a look at the what they've created. So this calculator, which you can download, I'll show you where you can download it, here, www.rsgb.org slash emf, and it's called a calculator, and it gives you, a, when you click it and go to it, it gives you an Excel sheet, which is what we're on now, which you can open in Excel or put it on your Google Drive and it will open it. So, right now, the settings that are in here show that I'm compliant. Look at the bottom here in green. It says compliant as less than 10 WEIRP. Effective, well, I should know, radiated power. So, um, got my course on in there. So, let's. I've got it from the ICOM 7300. Let's say, let's say we want, we're a different person. So, uh, my name is Andreas. Let's just say I am John. You just put your name in there, and my call sign is MM6HHK. Just this is a, an example. We got the date. Let's say we're in Bristol. Okay, and we've got a go to here radio make a, a Yesu, and it's what model? A 991A. Okay, so that's our details. Let's look down here. Now these photographs are for examples. So let's say we're in SSB mode and let's just say we're gonna give out 90 watts, okay? 90 watts. And most of us don't transmit a lot. You could put about 40% in there. Let's put in 10%. I'm on it 10% because that does affect things because it reduces how much, you know, overall you're gonna give out. So, RG58, very common. Um, what's another one? RG, is that 213? That's quite a common one. Uh, 20 meters, yeah, about right. Pretty average. And let's select, instead of that, let's select a long wire. Long wire, there you go. So it calculates everything for you. And according to this, we're going to give out an average of 2.5 watts. EIRP and the peak is 122. But we are compliant. Look, compliant. Now let's change the watts to 1000. Okay, now look what happens. The compliant part vanishes because we've gone over 27.2 watts. And most of us really, the most we're going to give out is 100. And we're going to have losses in our antenna as well, which is calculated here. And look, we're back down to being compliant. So all you've got to do is do this. When you've done it, save it somewhere. Save the file. Go File, Save. Or download a copy and print it. Like so. And just put it in a file. So that'll make you compliant. Now, there's obviously more to this. You know, how high your antenna is. The type of antenna. For example, a Yagi, for example... You know, it's going to operate in a different way. If you look at this now, it's I'm, I'm not showing as compliant. Now let's put in five meters. Still not compliant. So let's uh, reduce the power to 80. Still not compliant. Can you see, look at that. Average EIRP is 109. So when you're using like a Yagi and the, the signal is focused, then you, you do really need to do some work on this. Now, I don't use Yagi's. I, I hardly ever use more than 10 watts. Look, I'm still not compliant. So can you see that? If we go down to 10 watts here, still not compliant. Quite close. 
five watts. There you are, I'm compliant. So, and it's to do with the distance, how far you are away from other houses, other people, you know, it's all, it all comes into this. So, you know, if you're a big operator on HF, you need to um, put some homework in, into this. Me, I use handhelds on one watt. So I, um, I know I'm, I'm compliant. Um, so um, yeah, have a look, see what you think. I'll put the links in, links in the description. The information's out there. It's on the RSGB, also Ofcom as well. If you put Ofcom, um, EMF, they've got a page on it as well. And obviously, it's obviously part of our license now. So, 7 3, have a look. All the best.